Believe it or not, there was a time in Jamaica's recent history when the profit motive was a bad word. No, realistically, an increasing number of Jamaicans are recognizing that setting up and formalizing their own profitable businesses is not only a viable option and a good thing, but probably the answer to some of our key social and economic problems, such as unemployment, low growth, and crime. Today, we are celebrating the National Commercial Bank Group's decision to fund research at the UWI's Mona School of Business, research that the banking group says is intended to facilitate the generation of new knowledge to guide Jamaican companies on how to develop dynamic capabilities and strategies for profitable growth. On February 20, 2014, NCB signed an agreement to commit $953,000 US dollars to fund research geared at stimulating corporate renewal and transformation. It's a partnership that both the Mona School of Business and NCB Hope will help to develop capabilities and strategies for profitable and sustainable business growth in the current economic climate. NCB's managing director Patrick Hilton views the $953,000 US dollar investment as a symbiotic relationship between the UWI and NCB for the broader good. One in which the university will be assisting us in our efforts to grow and evolve our organization to ensure its, su its success, its sustainability, to enhance its performance while at the same time helping the university to further enhance and build skills and capabilities in this area. Uh, and so we are very happy to be here to go into some of the details, uh, it, the whole engagement will take place in two phases. Phase one, which is scheduled from January to December 2016, has as components of it the delivery of two technical papers, a seminar, and a short executive level course for, for NCBJ. And then phase two, which involves a sponsored chair, will engage, will see that initiative engage in a set of scholarly activities which are geared towards advancing knowledge in the area of corporate transformation and will include the publication of scholarly papers which will be distilled for consumption by the public. So it will have a wider impact in terms of an engagement with the public and so on. So, you know, in summary, ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy to be here. This marks an important milestone, an important, in a sense, launch pad for this initiative. We are excited about it. We look forward to working with the university to ensuring that this is a very successful engagement, that it is a model engagement, that it is one which can be held up as an example which others will want to follow. And hopefully by doing this, not only will the NCB benefit, not only will the university benefit, but our wider society will benefit. Principal and Pro-Vice-Chancellor of the UWI, Professor Archibald MacDonald, thanked the island's largest financial company for its contribution of almost one million US dollars towards research, while noting that lack of funding has deterred Jamaica from making any significant impact in the international research environment. The stated objectives of the agreement include corporate renewal and transformation, and these are all very important to the Jamaica and regional develop Jamaica's and regional development. Professor MacDonald said the university will ensure that all the targets are met in this historic endeavor. Now, as we continue to promote entrepreneurship and legitimate business activity, we too hope the deliverables are met 
and that the research will assist in transforming Jamaican businesses. That's the Achievers for this week.